do 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 Oh, hello there. Yeah, welcome back to our confirmation videos this week. We're gonna go for a short little drive here, and um, you know, I just did something that was an act of trust. See, I started my car, I got in the car, and it, and I just turned the key, and the car comes on. Now, that's beyond me as to actually how that happens. I'm no engineer, um, but I trust every time that I get in my car that when I turn that key, the engine's gonna turn over, and the car's gonna start, and we can drive away. You know, I could become a mechanic, maybe, if I spent lots of time reading books or going to school or, or learning all sorts of stuff. You know, I could learn a little bit more about my car and, and figure out how it all works, but, you know, I wouldn't trust my car as much anymore. I'd be trusting in my own knowledge and, and everything, my own skill. But that reminds me of Abraham from the Bible. And we talk about what it means to trust God, right? With the first commandment, we say we fear, love, and trust in God above all things. Abraham certainly trusted God. He was called to leave the place that he lived and move thousands of miles away, hundreds of miles away, to a new place. Now, this would become what we know as the promised land, but Abraham didn't know that. And at that point, there really was nothing out there. And Abraham was just told by God, take up all your stuff, take all your things, grab your family, and just go. Now, that takes a lot of trust to know that everything was going to be okay, to know that he'd have food where he was going, to know that you know he wasn't going to get robbed on the, on the journey or, 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 or anything. He had no clue what was going to happen, but he had to trust in what God was calling him. Now, the final story of trust, really, that we see in the Bible, the ultimate story of trust, is, of course, the story of Jesus on the cross. He had to trust that when he died, God would actually bring him back to life. See, because he had been able to raise the dead himself, but when he was dead, who was going to raise him? He trusted that the Father, that the through the Holy Spirit, the power of the Spirit, would raise him back to life. That's what he trusted in. Now, we face lots of things in our life that we have to trust, not just our cars that we have to trust to turn on, but we face moving to a new school or making new friends or maybe um, with a, the divorce of your parents. You know, there's a lot of things that we don't know how it's going to turn out. And we have to learn to trust in God, not just to know about Him, but to learn to trust that He loves us, that He's still with us, that no matter where we are or where we're, we're going, or what's going to happen that God is going to be with us and that just like Jesus learned everything's going to be okay let's pray father God we thank you for teaching us trust help us to trust you more and more each day help us to be like Abraham who when you called him listened and followed Lord give us the faith to do this in your son's name we pray amen have a wonderful day and let's go for a drive.